What's going on? We back with the Boston Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bell icon, so you know we upload and drop that heat. Manny Pacquiao um, stopped uh, Lucas Matisse um, in the seventh round. And, um, you know, I was watching this fight and I was like, man, this shit look like the senior PGA tour. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Matisse, I told, I, I told you guys, I predicted this. We'll be stopped in the ninth round, so it was, you know, before I predicted. But I just looked like Pacquiao, even though it was a year ago, just just had more in the tank than Lucas Matisse in their last fight. Lucas Matisse fought uh, Kyron, and Kyron legitimately was beating him with uh, moving away from his left hand. Well, well, moving away from his left hand and a jab, I believe it was. And Pacquiao fought a very, very close fight with Jeff Horn. Could have went either way. Just looked to have more juice in his body. He looked to be faster. Matisse had the eye injury, had all the scar tissue, had been in a lot of wars. But um, this fight was Pacquiao. Left uppercut is what was the money shot, man. Um, he he was a one-two fighter again today. That's always been Pacquiao. He's a one-two fighter and occasionally throw you off balance with a left hook. Um, that's just been his style. Maybe a one-one, then a two. But a one-two fighter, he's a basic... One-two fighter with exceptional foot foot movement and awkward angles. And um, even at his older age, and Matisse, I believe, at his best, it was going to be hard for Matisse even to deal with that. Matisse was a guy that liked to fight on the front foot, but he ain't an uh, inside brawler or grappler like Jeff Horn. He didn't know how to get dirty and take away Pacquiao angles. He came forward, and he fought at, a dis at, at, a, at a, the distance that Pacquiao was comfortable with. He didn't get all in Pacquiao's mix because that's not really his game getting his chest. It was a couple clash of heads, but Pacquiao, you know, he still looked, he looked a shell of himself still. He looked old, um, but he had more explosive, explosiveness in the tank and more juice in the tank than Matisse. I, I told you guys that coming into the fight. I knew Pacquiao was going to knock out Matisse. It was no doubt in my mind because I knew Pacquiao still had a little bit left and a little bit more left in the tank. And Matisse, Matisse been done. When Matisse got beat by Victor Postal, it was absolutely over with. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it been over with for him. But Pacquiao was just one, two, you know, a little bit of movement. Jump in, one, two. He he fought, you know, safety first. He's been fighting safety first for quite some time now. He ain't like he used to be where he had no fear of jumping in. I guess Marquez, you know, got his mind right a little bit with that uh, knockout. But he fought a, a defensive fight, but he was a little bit more offensive. He had a good balance today. And like I said, that upper that left uppercut was a game changer. You know what I'm saying? The one two had Matisse shook. But the uppercut is what really did it. And Pacquiao needed to mix in some more punch variety. You know, maybe in the left or the right hook, it was the uppercut. And um, you know, I I knew Matisse was done after the first knockdown. He got the eye injury, man. And when you got an injury that that uh that that bad into a critical part of your body, you never that, that really never gets out the back of your mind. And um, I know after the first knockdown, it was a wrap. Second knockdown, I think he was going to get up. Down to the third one, the third one ended up doing it. Um, and I just knew, you know, I knew he had that same stand, that same kind of, you know, one knee down, you know, eye. That's when Victor Postal hurt the eye. And um, like I said, he's done. The winner of this, loser of this fight got to retire. When T-Say he's done, um, he never was a real world champion. They fought for the regular WA belt. It's not a real world champion belt. Um, it's a trinket. And if Khan be Sammy Vargas, um, he'd be Pacquiao's mandatory from what I'm understanding. But uh, Pacquiao is in the running for Vasalo Machenko. Um, Bob Arum named Jose Petraza Ray Beltran winner August 25th. That's not going down. ESPN, the winner of that fight faces uh, Lomachenko, where Pacquiao is going to squeeze down. Pacquiao looked big tonight, man. Both him and Matisse look kind of big tonight. You know, Pacquiao looked a little bit bigger than Matisse. I heard people saying. So, I don't know if Pacquiao can go down to 135, but don't ask me about Terrence Crawford. Pacquiao's already declined Terrence Crawford seven times. And we see that Pacquiao look good with Boo Boy and Onito Donaire Sr. Um, uh, in his camp. And uh, he showed that he didn't need Freddie Roach. Showed today Bob Irum it, did not promote him. He handled the TV deal from Malaysia to America. So, um, Bob Irum is no longer promoting Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao got the seventh round uh, knockout. And um, congratulations to Manny Pacquiao. He fights on um, you know, who could he fight? I mean, make sure you subscribe. We'll talk about it in the morning. And uh, we'll do a review video. And um going to get to it, man. So, but, you know, right now, Matisse got to retire, man. They got to tell him to retire. For Pacquiao, 
I don't know, man. Honestly, he can't go down to 140. I think most of those guys are going to fight and battle out in the tournament. And the other guys are going to battle out to unify the other two belts outside the tournament. So, it might be Lomachenko. He ain't going to fight Keith. He ain't going to fight Earl Spence. He ain't going to fight none of the Cat Pillars, the Young, Hungry Lions, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. So, it'll be interesting to see, you know, who he picks next. Um, the Mir Khan might be right for the picking for him, man. That might be a right fight for him, but we'll speak on that in the morning. It's the Boston Clinic of More. Appreciate you guys listening to us. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know we go live and drop that heat. We on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links are in the description. As always, I source my articles and my links. If you're interested in college sports, college football, or basketball, um, hit the uh, hit the uh, the description and a link to our new college sports page is in the description. And y'all know what it is, man. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. We're talking more in boxing, football, NBA, politics, real life, music. Uh, check our playlists. They're growing every day and new ones are being created. And uh, congratulations to Manny Pacquiao. Seventh round knockout. You know what I'm saying? Stop Lucas Matisse. And uh, don't forget to share the video. Share, share it everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know, share it with your friends. Tell everybody about the Boston Clinic and more. Shout out to the LDBC. Y'all know what it is. We grinding. One time for the one time. Much blessings to everybody out there. We out.